uh, yeah, episode three, moving on to new topics and we're enjoying this process, learning a lot. Oh, I had hey, everyone. Good I had actually back. a point I wanted to make. Uh, I forgot to mention it in the first two episodes, but so <laughs> when I listen to podcasts or watch YouTube or anything, you know, like I, I always put it on 1.5 or two times speed. Um, I think, you know, it's a generation. <laughs> if time is, I mean, time is, time is a valuable resource, is it not? Um, yeah. So we only have 24 yeah, hours in the day. We only have 24 hours in the day. Work, yeah, <laughs> work extra efficiently. Um, but can, anyway, I just say, can I just say, can I just say that I don't, I listen to my podcasts on normal speed because I, I will not concentrate. I've listened to too many lectures at double speed. So <laughs> I just don't, I know well, I don't take anything in. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite off today. I'm, if I don't uh, spend time, you know, or, make it really fast and i find i like can linger or drift off i find if i'm like Fair enough two times speed and the words are super fast and you have to focus to hear every single word it helps me a bit better but yeah i suppose everyone's different well basically um, we're gonna basically the point is we're gonna try cater for for all types of listeners in this in this uh podcast <laughs> yeah so yeah. if you want to put it at two times speed um yeah we have no issues um, <laughs> it would be weird to hear my voice at two times speed though yeah. uh, i've always wondered what that would sound like we'll do it ourselves um, Okay, yeah. So today we're going to be speaking about uh, basically building a presence on LinkedIn and a professional brand, I guess. Um, Luca has been very active on LinkedIn over the past, and you know he's been encouraging me to also get involved and put myself out there and build that you know that brand. And something I've noticed is LinkedIn's actually such an underutilized tool. It's it's so powerful from a social media kind of perspective. Completely, uh, completely. Just looking at the one or two posts I've put out there, um, it shows my analytics and I was getting about 3,000 views on some mm. of my posts. And if exactly. you think of that yeah, kind of crazy. reach, um, especially if you think of other social media platforms um, that uh, like Instagram or Facebook, that kind of reach isn't really possible. It doesn't exist uh, anymore, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, like Facebook and Instagram are now are using their like whole business models around getting reach and they're, they're often, you know, you have to pay for those kind of views um, and the algorithm there is very complex. So I think on LinkedIn, there's a, almost a underutilized um, or a potential there. Um, well, it's to, opportunity. It's potential opportunity yeah, for attention. There we go. Because um, to, to yeah. build a brand, to market yourself. Um, and so, yeah, I want... Yeah, I just guess I want to ask Luca a few questions today and just hear his thoughts on it. Um, so yeah, kick us off, Luca. Yeah, you so think of- I mean, just just initially for for anyone you know anyone listening who actually doesn't know what LinkedIn is or has never heard of it, uh, if there is anyone, um, LinkedIn's basically think of it as a Facebook for for professionals and um, you know basically professional people and uh, sort of focused more on recruitment and uh and employees and that that's what it used to be it used to be initially when it was created it was created as a platform to find jobs in an online basically an online recruitment platform um mm. but now it's very interesting as jonty was saying the the reach uh which is which is actually really cool that he that he that he's noticed that already and um and mentioned it is that you know many comparisons have been drawn to it already uh to what facebook was doing around 20, 2009, 2010, 2011, um, where it has a, a, actually a massive amount of organic reach without actually paying any money, putting any money down. Um, mm. So it's actually presented itself as an amazing opportunity for people who you know, want to build their personal brand and professional brand and want to put themselves out there and can actually mm. reach a lot of people um, without doing much uh, you know, and without putting a cent down. Um, so it's actually become a, an amazing place to, for, for anyone really to create content. Um, mm. You're now seeing such a move from, you know, less so to being it focused on like people in finance or accountancy or what, whatever. You're now seeing uh, creatives and uh, photographers, uh, mm. you know, digital content creators, video producers. It, like a lot of, there's a space for a lot of people on LinkedIn. Um, and I think I've definitely, I've definitely realized that. Um, and I've definitely been trying to take, take as much of that opportunity as I can. Yeah. Um, it's and amazing, it's an amazing platform. Well, yeah, I mean, we, it's <laughs> in the process, it's getting there. We're getting there. I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to uh, blow my own trumpet. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah, from, from my perspective, just looking at, you know, your posts and your, your, how active you've been on there, it's been really cool and encouraging. And I think 
also just sharing some of your thoughts you know it's like helped me like some of your posts and the ways you think and so i'm sure it's helping a lot of other people or like helping them too so super cool and so. you know it's like i suppose goal. this this leads into the question you know um you know it's building your career as a young professional um like how does linkedin play that role uh, or play its part in that kind of perspective um uh, i know you've kind of touched on it a little bit but mm. how important do you think it is to to get started early on a professional brand in, i think it's massive i think it's massively important especially when you have a platform such as linkedin that's literally designed to do this for people um you know and i at the end of last year i i was I did actually put out a video on LinkedIn and just saying that there's such a massive opportunity for students, for, for mm. young professionals like us coming, onto, coming into the working world. Um, I'm convinced that by putting yourself out there and creating as much content as you can um, and just having more of a voice um, will you know, put, you, put your image and put your brand in, in the sight of potential employers. Um, you know, if you want to start your, your own business, it's a great place to leverage and great place mm. to find people who are willing to share ideas and maybe willing to help you out even. Um, and to build networks. And to build networks, that. exactly. That's because that's vital cool. in, in the business world. Exactly. That's how we succeed, um, building networks. And, you know, anyone who even just wants to put, get a job, you know, get a job at a top, top investment firm, for example, like I would almost say that LinkedIn should play as much of an important part in that process of getting that job as applying through their website and building your CV. And, you know, a lot of people use LinkedIn as like just a, another, like a CV 2.0 where they mm. just put their experience and whatever and try kit that out as much as possible and then just leave it alone. Um, but I, I think I've begun to disagree with that. And I did my, when I was first on LinkedIn, I did observe it and see, Oh yeah, this is cool. Let me just get this like second CV out. But I, I think I disagree with that now um, because I feel I feel as though if you were to go into a job and people, you know, if you were uh, applying to a job, for example, and that employer saw, you know, you versus another, another candidate, um, mm. sort of, they can get to know you so much easier, easily if, if you've already been putting out content, say on LinkedIn, um, and they can sort of figure out uh, the type of person you are before you even meet them, just, just based on what you've been talking about, what you, what you've been, what your passions are, what you've been posting about. So I think that can play a huge advantage and just get you, get you one step of step ahead of anyone else. Um, Give you that edge. Exactly. um, If you need it. Exactly. 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 And then, you know, obviously it comes in from the entrepreneurship uh, angle where if you're trying to start your business, you know, I, I, I did it. Uh, last year with with the business i was helping start mm. um uh a small, ceviche you know, con ceviche, a small business small jewelry business in, in cape town what i did was basically as as one of the owners i would then post uh content of my experiences with that business um and grace basically cross populate cross mm. uh, cross post uh you know that that content um you know so in in the same way that I'm, that I'm pushing my personal brand, I'm also pushing the business's brand and trying to get the brand out there utilizing my own yeah. network. And it's, it's, it's a, a free form of marketing, actually. Exactly, exactly. And then, um, I mean, and like, like we said, the reach like, is crazy. So. Yeah, the reach, unbelievable. I mean, yeah. if you're utilizing that properly, if, I mean, 3,000 people, what would you pay, I mean, say on Instagram or Facebook for that kind of reach? Um, exactly. And I know, like, maybe your target market might not be the same on on um, LinkedIn, but you know, I think now as it's growing and a lot more young professionals and people are starting to build a, a presence on that brand, you know, that's potentially, while it's still available now and underutilized, I think, you know, the power of that marketing. Um, exactly, is quite... exactly, exactly, exactly. I think, um, yeah, and uh, you know, like it's intimidating, it's, in, it's intimidating with, you know, People can think of it as as though oh, I'm just putting myself out more out there to get more jobs or whatever. I think mm. it's a it's employment proof. Um, yeah, it's it's a really really useful platform. Yeah, um, and, and, and like you said, with suppose, the, with the the, the 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 tone of the platform as well, it's just more of a professional place. It's mm. it's more like a think of it like an office office space. Um, it's like an office conversation basically. 
Whereas yeah. Instagram is like a casual place, for example. And yeah, I just want, I thought like I had this thought um, when we were speaking about this a couple of months back and, you know, you were saying how, you know, at first you quite like, it can be quite scary to put yourself out there. And, um, you know, this, it's the same thing with this podcast, me and you, like, I suppose it's, it, it is a little bit scary putting yourself out there that people can judge you. Um, you know, of course, of course. it's, it's hard getting the ball rolling, but I suppose, yeah, what I like is you only fail when you don't try. Exactly. Um, exactly. and you know, yeah, the, like who knows what the costs and benefits are of it, but I feel from my perspective, there definitely are more benefits of putting yourself out there and yeah, do you maybe want to just chat us through uh, on that yeah, process? I mean, that I went mean through. If, if, if anything, if anything, you're building skills, you know, aside from potentially have any, having any monetary or, uh, you know, influential success, I think mm. you're also just building certain soft skills in terms of like, you know, how do you put your message across in written word? How do you, mm. you know, put your, you know, talk within a minute video to get your message aqu- across and how do you yeah. public speak and all these different things that that's actually going to help you, you know, in your normal job and in, in, in the workspace, in the, in the normal job market um, mm. and starting your business anyway. So yeah. And especially, you know, yeah, yeah. like you, sorry to interrupt no, writing, no like writing your posts, like, you know, keeping like your message short and concise or exactly, exactly. You know, practicing your writing techniques doesn't exactly. flow. I mean, I feel like in this day and age, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's been a long time since I've had to kind of write those kind of messages. Um, exactly, exactly. And I suppose it's, it's a, it's a good, you can only learn and um, yeah, exactly. It's, it's some, various yeah. skills that come from that. Yeah. It's um, something you know, you another, about. exactly. Yeah. Another point is, you know, what's useful is, you know, I like to read a lot of articles. Um, and so what you can do on LinkedIn as well is share articles and just write a little summary with some points of what you took exactly. away from the articles exactly. and maybe some thoughts as well. And I think, you know, that, that also makes, like, keeps you accountable if you want to start doing that. Um, also, like, with putting up reading lists and book lists um, and then keeping yourself accountable. But also, um, I think uh, it, it, it really helps you make sure you understood what that article said and makes sure exactly. that you're having your own exactly. opinion as well. So I think that's also quite a, quite a useful thing to do and something that I definitely want to start doing a bit more on LinkedIn. Hmm. Definitely um, no. It's, but I think that's the easiest way to get get mm. you know, your thoughts out there, you share your opinions, and you know, I mean, I mean, also I mentioned in in the first episode um, that article about happier by happier human, the thirty one benefits of gratitude. You know, I mm. shared that article when I posted it on LinkedIn as well. This is a great example. I posted that article and shared it with my thoughts and certain things, and I mean, that's been one of my top performing posts. You know, mm. since I've been on LinkedIn, so just shows you like there is space for that and you know mm. just if there's nothing nothing hurts that doesn't you know nothing wrong with that yeah exactly um so i guess just to wrap up i suppose we can close off you know if you had to tell someone new who's who hasn't got a linkedin account or they tell someone who's just starting out on linkedin what kind of tips would you give them uh to running a good account or um yeah definitely so i'll you know i can give you give a few just a few pointers is that, you know, first of all, LinkedIn's a, it's a, it's an interesting place for the first time when you go on, because when you start going on and you start putting yourself out there, um, you know, it's, it's different to like a friend requ- request on Facebook versus like a follow on Instagram where you have connections. So it's very much like focused on the sort of uh, professional network connections, stuff like that, networking. Um, so you know, I would advise people to accept every single uh, connection that comes your way, no matter who they are, um, you know, expand your network, meet new people. I find that, that uh, you know, bar one or two people, uh, most people are genuine on LinkedIn. Um, you know, uh, people are there for a reason and that's really cool. So, you know, accept all your connections, connect with people, you yourself uh, connect with people and just, try to meet as many new people as possible. Um, you know, second, second and, and most important is just post your opinions, put, uh, put your thoughts out there. Like John T was saying, post, post, uh, reshare articles, um, you know, post about what I always found was interesting was to post about experiences. And that's an easier way mm. to come across in the beginning, especially when, you know, you aren't 
maybe you, you're not necessarily, you know, even I'm not at the top of my game or I'm not an expert in anything, really. Mm. Um, yeah, we're just like, starting out. <laughs> exactly, we're just starting out. We're just starting this whole process. So post your experiences, you know, if you went to a cool uh, conference, uh, tech conference, an investment conference, post about it, post your takeaways, post your views, um, post cool working tips that you've been doing, work from home tips, um, you know, things that you found that keep you more productive. Mm. Um, and I think lastly, I would say is, you know, utilize, utilize something like, um, LinkedIn learning, uh, you know, which is, which is an amazing tool for, uh, you know, for just learning new skills and yeah. And I think just focus on collaborating with people as well. Mm. Right? And don't, yeah. don't worry about putting yourself out there and messaging different people that you haven't, that you've never met before and asking for advice and certain things. Yeah. And I think also just you know, on your profile, make sure you, you stand out, you know, your about paragraph. Exactly. Put a exactly. unique, unique description of yourself. Don't, don't make it vanilla or boring, you know, 100%, yeah. uh, try, yeah. try stand out and show something about yourself, who you really are. Um, exactly exactly yeah that's an important point i forgot actually is the focus of, the first thing you should do is actually focus on the profile uh it's quite cool linkedin like gamifies it so it gives you like different rankings um you know uh try get that profile as optimized as possible to like because mm. uh, because the algorithm then pushes your content more if you if it sees your profile is optimized um yeah fill in as much as you can about that being as detailed as possible and like mm. john T says don't be vanilla do, you know Everyone's yeah. un, everyone's unique. Everyone has a different different opinion, and uh, you know, no just just put a bit of spice on your on your about about section, and yeah. And yeah. I mean, it's a fun it's a fun experience. Go have fun on it, and it's really it's, I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed putting my myself out there, and I'm I'm just now starting to see the fruits of that uh, of that effort. So yeah, it's a really rewarding awesome. process. Hey everyone, before you go, I just wanted to jump in here and say on behalf of Jonty and myself, thank you so, so much for watching that episode. We really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed that episode of MindShift, check out some of our others. They should be around here somewhere on the screen. Also, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. If you didn't like it somehow, leave me a comment down below telling me why and I will do my utmost to make sure you enjoy it the next time. Till the next mind shift, bye for now.